Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Um, so last time out we finished off the um, ghost, as it's called, Ghostly Galaxy. Uh, and in this part pretty much we're going to be finishing off... Um, we're going to finish off heading through the um, third? Yes, sorry, fuck. <laughs> um, we're going to be finishing off heading through the third hub world of the game, the kitchen. Um, and the first thing we've got to do is we've got to do the um, the pink luma. So let's get going with that. I can't remember what this galaxy is. <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, drip drop galaxy. Okay. Let's get going, shall we? Uh, hang on. Do I remember? I'm trying. Oh... Bugger. <laughs> this one. Okay, so this is Giant Eel Outbreak. Uh, this is completely underwater. And there are a bunch of eels, as you can see, floating around. And basically, I think you just have to kill all the eels. I didn't want to talk to you. Respect your elders, bitch. Okay, um, <laughs> yeah, so we need to get rid of the big eels. Come, Shell, let's go. Um, so yeah, basically you have to, bleh, you have to head towards the eels, and you basically have to shoot the shells into them to kill them. Uh, once you've killed, crap, <laughs> once you've killed all of them, then uh, you can get the power star. Uh, pretty comfortable and pretty easy. It just is a little bit of a pain. Also, I think here they introduce the concept of. Um, I think they introduce it here. I can't really remember. Oh shit! Shit! Oh god, I'm gonna die. Tom, don't be, a, don't be a moron. Get it? <laughs> Find a fucking coin. Ooh, there's a coin. Get it. Oh, get a shell or something. Come on. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, thank the Lord. Uh, but yeah, they introduced red shells here. Basically, red shells are faster than green shells. Um, but the major, th the major thing between them is that basically you can shoot them. Well... Theoretically, anyway, if you don't run into their arse. Um, you can run into... You can shoot them at the enemies and basically or home, home in on the enemies. So you just have to kind of get it... Like... Um, somewhat close to the enemy. As, a, as to, opposed to the green shells where you have to aim it. Um, quite specifically. Pick it up. There we go. So yeah, if you can try and get as many, try and get the red shells if you can. Makes everything easier. Shoot it, Tom! Why are you waiting so long? There you go. Piece of garbage. Let's grab that. I think we've got a couple more to go, heels wise, or maybe we've only got one. I can't remember. <laughs> shoot it! Shoot! Shoot it, Fox! Boop! And there we go. So the eel's taken care of, and now it spawns over there. So now you just gotta go and find the sea. So now you just gotta go over to the um, sunken ship and find that shit. While also not getting killed by the goddamn uh, torpedo Teds. <laughs> there. Tom, do it. Do it now. Finish this. End this. There we go. <laughs> That, that's um, one of those galaxies which um, it's easy but at the same time I find it a little bit bland <laughs> it's a little bit dull it's basically just go underwater and shoot a bunch of eels it's not particularly fun <laughs> but there you go and that unlocks the new galaxy so in the final galaxy in the kitchen so let's head there now 
because we've got that one to go through first. So yeah, we've got this one, which is the the boy base. No, that is not what I picked. Stop being a prick. There you go. The boy base. Uh, so yeah, which has a giant Pokeball in it for some reason. Um, basically, also uh, this one as well. Um, it's a rarity. Uh, I think this is one of the few kind of standalone galaxies um, where it's just you know. Um, which has actually a secret galaxy as a secret power star. Um, so it's. Uh, I find it pretty fun to go through this one. I do like how this one looks as well. So we're going to head down here first. And what we want to do first is we want to head down here. And we want to find ourselves. Yeah, there they are Torpedo Teds. Come on, Torpedo Teds. Where are you, lad? Yeah, follow me. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. I'm being a bit of a knobhead. There we go. So you want to destroy that, and that um, allows the the, plat the lower platforms to go up. Uh... You might have just seen it over there. There's like a another bubble, a glass bubble, with um, sorry, with uh, a glass uh, with a pipe in it, and that takes you to the um, second um, power star. But I won't be doing that until um, you know, I'm not doing the uh, the optional power stars until near the end of the game, so. We're not going to bother with that, we're just going to get the regular power star here. And this one's kind of, uh... Ow! Go fuck yourself. This one's kind of a fun one for me. Get lost. <laughs> I believe... I'm trying to remember, I think they're called Electric Goombas. They're basically just, um... Oh, what's the name of it? The enemy from Zelda that shoots stuff at you. I can't remember. Uh, Zoras. So basically Zoras. But yeah, there you go. Yeah, can't do anything with that yet. Got to jump up a bit on here. Spin that down. Right, now we've got a top. One of those top enemies. Come over here. Thanks, buddy. And... Uh, so yeah, this first section is just, uh, it's split up into kind of three little sections, I suppose. Uh, the first section being going underwater and um, getting rid of the weight to uh, allow us to get the lower platforms raised. Um, then uh, there's this section, which is kind of the... Uh, where you climb up the tower and you've got to collect the um, five blue shards. Really? I didn't notice that? I'm a fucking idiot. I can't believe I didn't notice. Surely I noticed. Surely I did. <sighs> Tom, you're an idiot. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you basically have to climb up the, um, the tower with its moving platforms and oh shit, collect the five blue um, star fragments. What the fuck happened there? Uh, and then once you once you've collected all five, um, crap, crap, crap. Do I cut? I can't remember. Doesn't look like it. At least not at the moment. <laughs> but anyway, uh, once you collected all those, you can go. You go straight to the top and open up the Pokeball to uh, get the Power Star. I don't mind it because it's you know pretty comfortable. It's pretty easy, pretty comfortable. Um, did I not see it? Surely I saw it. 
I did. Thank the, f thank the fucking lord. Right, let's wait. There we go. Just gotta wait now. Right, we're missing one. So, it uh, jump, jump. There we go. Let's go over this way. I've seen it this way. I should have cut. I should have cut past this. But <laughs> anyway, whatever. Um. Yeah, I've missed it again. I'm missing one. Oh no, there it is. I'm an idiot. There we go. And that activates a blue pole star. A couple of blue pole stars. Yeah, you can't break that. I thought you could for a little while there. I thought you just had to. But uh, it's this one actually with the um, with the different um, marking on it. I can't remember what you call it. <laughs> Uh, it's not a crosshead, it's flathead. There you go, it's like the flathead uh, groove at the top. And open it up, and boom, there you go. We got ourselves our next power star. Um, and I think that means we're pretty much done with this galaxy, with this um, hub world now. Yeah, we've just got um, the boss to go. From what I remember. I think so. <laughs> yeah, we've done everything now. So it's just the um, boss to go. Uh, yep, let's get going. Just the boss remains. Um, Bowser Jr.'s airship, airship armada sinking the airships. Oh, this one. This one's pretty fun. I actually really uh, enjoy this... Um, this... Uh, this particular boss because I like the um, platforming uh, stuff that comes up before it. It's a lot of fun to go through. Yeah, we're stuck with electric Goombas again. Oh, the blue ones. Sorry. Shit. The blue ones are electric Goombas. I can't remember what these guys are called. The pink ones. The blue ones are electric Goombas. Pink ones I can't remember. Pretty much do the same job to be fair. Just shoot rocks at you. <laughs> but I honestly can't remember. Anyway. Aim for the pole star. And away we go. Just make sure you grab it. And drop. Yeah, you can fuck that up. I can't remember what these robot guys are called, but I do actually really like their um, designs. They're kind of annoying as well with the lasers they shoot. Um, it says Kamek killed. You deserve everything you get, Kamek. And now we got some Wigglers. Uh, wigglers are really easy to kill in Galaxy because it's just ground pound next to them and jump on top of them and you're done. It's nice and easy. Before I talk to you, I'm going to get myself some more um, star bits. This is my 31. I think you need 30 um, to pay him. Yeah, 30. So we got just about enough. Never gain extra life. Always get the extra hit points. <coughs> Especially on a boss fight. Especially on a boss, uh, boss galaxy. Thank you. And away we go. These bug assholes are back. There you go. You're dead. And away we go. This section caused me trouble, and I can't really. Oh god. Oh god. Can't really remember why. Ah, shit. Fuck. No. no. Into the great beyond. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, that was so bad. Yeah, I didn't bother because I'm right here. Thought might as well kill them. Might as well get my uh, get some uh, get, get some uh, star bits. 
which is nice. Yeah. Got a one-up as well, so... Jesus, I almost died again. I'm probably still alive I lost. Yeah, for some reason I just found it hard to... Uh... What's the word I'm looking for here? I just found it hard to uh, avoid those uh, balls. Those exploding balls. Anyway, it's time for our boss fight against Bowser Jr. So the first fight we had against him was with uh, uh, where he was using Mega Leg. This one is a lot easier. Jump on the uh, Koopa and throw the shot. Uh, avoid the uh, bullet bills. Ah, Tom, I said avoid. Took me a layer out of me. Fucking hell. Make me look like a jackass. Um, yeah, so you do that. You avoid the bullet bills. And you're supposed to throw those on target. Ha! <laughs> that was fun. Oh, shit. And, yeah, and so, yeah, three hits. And now he turns to the front, makes him uh, a little bit harder to hit because of um, smaller area. Plus, you get these three giant uh, cannonballs. Ah! And now I'm getting kind of, I'm getting flustered. Oh shit! Did it go away? Bullet Bill, nobody likes you. Just piss off. Right. Now avoid. Throw. Second hit. And there you go. Five hits, and he's down. Like I said, it's not hard. Like the hardest part is pretty much avoiding the bullet bills. Um, the boss fight itself is pretty easy. But, um, I do find it fun. It's a fun boss, but, um, not that hard. And that is Grand Star number... Four, I believe. Um, because even though we've been through three hub worlds, we got one right at the beginning of the... One Grand Star right at the beginning of the game. So I think this is Grand Star number four. So let's send it back into the core of the uh, space station and now it goes like a nice white and light blue yeah there we go our fourth grand star and that opens up the next way the, the way to the next hub world the bedroom Ooh la la so there we go 32 power stars and three galaxies have already been opened and the chapter new chapter in the storybook Thanks to you and your friends, all the domes on the lower level are working again. Once the engine room on the upper of levels, the power, the whole observatory will be working. Then the comet observatory will fly the starship once again. And you will be able to fly to your special one in the center of the universe. Spell center, right? Um, but anyway. That's it for this part of Super Mario Galaxy. Join me next time when we'll be going to the fourth hub world of the game. We'll be heading through... Um, uh, heading through the galaxies in the bedroom. So join me next time for the next part of Super Mario Galaxy. See you next time.